Hi guys, it's me Adam Garrett and welcome back to the channel where you can watch me make you some delicious food. And as you can see on the board behind me, we're going to be making a hot and spicy beef burrito. Confession time though, I've never had a burrito. Ever. Not once. Nada. None. So you might be sitting there thinking, well how the frick is he going to make one if he has no idea what they're supposed to taste like? Well there's two reasons. The first one being is, kind of looking at all the recipes, there are so many different ways to make a burrito. There doesn't seem to be any fixed recipe of that's how it should be. So it kind of means that I can be a bit more creative, um, kind of make it my own way, but hopefully stick into some basic principles. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is gonna be a traditional how it should be made burrito, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if it's not, but this is just kind of me testing the waters if you like. And I suspect I'll make another burrito video again once I've kind of gained a bit more knowledge. But this is my kind of interpretation. And the second reason is I had a request from a subscriber. Now you guys know I am hopeless at requests. You know, I can't remember the last request that I did actually. But this particular viewer has been nagging me for about a year and a half to do it. So I've caved in and we're gonna do it. So this burrito is for you, Kat. So let's get cracking. If you look down below, as always, you'll find all the ingredients that you need. And the first thing we're gonna do is marinate the beef. Right, so here is my protein of choice. Now I'm using flat iron steak, but you can use whatever beef you like. Some recipes call for minced beef, some use steak. You know, it's entirely up to you, but we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna get this onto my chopping board. And I've got my knife here, which you'll be pleased to know is sharp. I know, get me, get me. After the stir fry video where I asked you, you know, for some suggestions on how to keep them sharp, one of my longtime subscribers, Rich, sent me a diamond steel and it's fabulous. Honestly, they're so sharp. So thank you, Rich. And I've also got a spare one. He actually sent me two. So at some point I'll do a giveaway. So what I'm gonna do with this steak then is I'm gonna slice it. So I'm gonna cut that piece in half and I'm gonna cut it into nice strips. Fairly thin, because we wanna cook this quite quickly. So about that sort of thickness. So it's gonna cook really quickly. Right, so we've got our beef nicely sliced up. Guys, don't do what I just did and slice it with the grain. Cut your steak against the grain. Okay, that's how you keep it nice and tender. And what we're gonna do here is make a very simple, quick marinade, just to kind of help infuse it with flavor. You don't have to leave this sitting for like hours and hours. You know, in fact, you don't need to leave it to sit at all. It's ready to go straight away. But what we're gonna do is just grate in a couple of cloves of garlic. Next, a good pinch of salt or two. Some pepper. The next thing we're gonna add is our spices. So I'm gonna add some cumin here, just ordinary ground cumin. I'm gonna go in with about a teaspoon. And we've got some cayenne pepper here, which is gonna give us the start of that spicy kick. I think about half a teaspoon is gonna be fine for now. Next, some oregano. Oh, I love oregano. And dried oregano is absolutely fine. If you've got fresh, use that, but dried is fine. So I'm gonna go in with about two teaspoons of that. Next, I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. A good few tablespoons of that. And then all we're gonna do is get our hands in there and mix it all together. Gotta to make sure it's evenly coated. So there we have it, that's the marinated beef. We're gonna put that to one side whilst we get on and make the homemade guacamole. I know, I'm just full of tricks, me. Now to make guacamole is very, very simple. Comes together in a couple of minutes. Got three ripe avocados, got some coriander, Got one tomato, de-seeded and diced nice and small, uh, about that sort of size. And I've got about half a small red onion as well, also finely diced. Got some limes, got some salt, and that's it. That's all we need. So what we're gonna do is get our avocados out of their skins. Just gonna put my knife in there and just kind of rock it round, okay, just like that. And they've gotta be nice and ripe, so you should feel them and make sure they're nice and soft. A twist, and you've got your avocado there. We just need to take out that stone. Let's get that out. And all we're gonna do is just scoop out the flesh into this bowl. So I'm gonna whiz through these quickly and then I'll show you the next bit. Right, so I've taken all the flesh out of the avocados. I've had to move to a bigger bowl because that one was too small. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is just take a fork and just lightly mash it up. I still wanna keep a bit of texture in there so I'm not gonna mash it into a complete paste but you don't want to be biting on a huge chunk of avocado, do you? 
Well, you might do, I don't know, it's your preference. And there we are, I've mashed it up. That's the kind of texture I'm looking for, but obviously, if you want it smoother, you can. But I've got a little bit of texture in there still. So next I'm gonna add the tomato, the red onion, and I'm gonna use some of this coriander. I'm not gonna use all of it. And what I don't use, I'll chuck in with the beef. I'm gonna add some salt. Again, this is gonna to be to taste, so once you've mixed everything together, give it a taste and see if you need to adjust it for more salt. And the next thing is some lime. I've got two here because they're quite small, but we'll see how we go. So I'm just gonna roll it a little bit. That just kind of helps release the juice. So I'm gonna slice this down like that and then squeeze in that lime. So that's one whole lime there. Mix this puppy through, give it a quick taste. Oh, that's gonna go so well with that beef. It does need a touch more salt for my tastes. So as easy as that guys, that's your guacamole done. And that will happily sit in the fridge to one side, because what I need to do now is to get everything else prepped that we need for the burrito. Right, so these are the veggies I'm gonna put in with my beef. So I've got a red onion there, I've got one of these long sweet peppers, you can use a bell pepper if you want, and a red chili. So what I'm gonna do is get these all chopped up, and I think red onion is gonna go really well with the beef. And I want to keep the red onion fairly chunky, but not, not too much because that beef is going to cook quite quick. So I'm just going to dice this up. I actually think half will be enough. I'm not going to use that other half, I'll use it for something else. And then next with our red pepper, I'm just going to cut that in half. And I'm just going to remove that bit of membrane and also the seeds as well. And again with this, I want to keep it quite chunky just so I can keep that texture. Okay, there we go, red pepper. Same with the chili, I'm gonna take that end piece off, slice it in half, and because Cat wants this spicy, I'm gonna use all of it. I'm gonna take out them seeds though, and I'm gonna dice this quite small because uh, I don't really fancy biting onto a huge chunk of chilli. Thank you very much. There we go, that's that all done. And the last thing I'm gonna slice up is some lettuce. I'm just gonna shred this up. I don't wanna jinx it, guys, but I've got a good feeling about this. A really good feeling. Right, so that's our lettuce, and I think that's all the prep done. So what we need to do now is get cooking. Okay, so we are ready to cook. So I'm gonna get this pan on to a nice high heat. And once the pan is nice and hot, we're gonna go in with our beef. And our veggies as well. I've also got some refried beans just on the back there, just gently warming through. And I'm just gonna cook this on high for about five minutes, just so the beef is just cooked and the veggies are slightly soft. I don't want them mushy though, because I still want that bite. Right, so after about five minutes, that beef is just nicely cooked through. The veggies have gone slightly soft. And I'm just gonna chuck in that last bit of coriander, just because I had it. And I'm just gonna empty it onto a plate. That'll sit there for a second. I need to clean that pan out because we need to warm up the tortillas. Right, so I'm gonna warm this tortilla up. Now, I've got two sorts. I've got the flour ones and I've got the corn ones. I wanted to use just corn ones, but the problem is they're quite small so I don't think they're gonna be quite the right size for what I want. But if we've got enough mixture left, I'll make a mini one with that. But what I'm gonna do is get the flour tortilla out of its packet, and then in a hot pan, I'm just gonna flop it straight in. And literally for about 30 seconds each side, uh, just to kind of warm it through, because if you don't, they have a tendency to crack and break. Right, so I've got my warm tortilla, and I think we can assemble it now. So I'm gonna get some refried beans. I shouldn't have used the whole can really, we don't need that much, but. Ho-hum, they are nice. We can make your own as well. So I'm just gonna go in with a layer of that to start with. Just kind of smear it down. Next, I'm gonna go on with some of our beef and veggies. Get a bit of everything on there. Ho ho ho, yes, yes. Uh, next, I'm gonna go on with some guacamole. 
And then here I've got some cheese. Now you can use any cheese you like, uh, but this is a mixture of four cheeses. We've got uh, mozzarella, edam, mature cheddar, and Monterey Jack. I suppose the traditional cheese would be queso, but I couldn't get any of that. So I'm gonna go on with a nice bit of that cheese. I've got the flipping lettuce, didn't I? That's gonna have to go on top now, isn't it? Next, I've got some pickled jalapenos. I'm gonna top them off with that for a bit of piquancy. And I'm gonna to attempt to roll this, guys. This could be a disaster. I think I've overfilled it, but... Ooh, we'll try. We will try. Watch me fail. Okay. Oh God. You're supposed to tuck the ends in though, aren't you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How am I gonna tuck those ends in? I can't, it's too, it's too overfilled. Kind of press it in. It's fine, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. So I've got a pan on the heat here, and what I want to do is just transfer this to the pan. What I need to do is warm everything through, get that cheese melted as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is try and make up another one that's a bit less disastrous than that thing. One eternity later. Well, I've done another one. It's a bit better, but I tell you what, folding up a burrito, it's a flipping art form, isn't it? Jesus. But this one's a bit better. I've also done kind of like a little mini one with the corn tortilla. But again, I've overfilled it, I think, because you can see it's sort of not very well sealed. But nonetheless, we're going to give it a try. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this open and have a look inside. I've got some sour cream there, but let's have a look. There we go, look at that. Hey, oh yes, have a little look. See all the different layers there, look, you've got your beef, you've got your veggies, you've got your cheese, you've got your guacamole. It smells incredible. Okay, I might not be uh, an expert at rolling them up, but I'm sure these are gonna be nice. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of prettify this up so I can take the thumbnail for it and then we can get stuck in. Right, so here's one half of the spicy beef burrito, the better wrapped one. You can have a look, look, let's see if we get you Right in there so you can have a look. Go on, focus, you know you want to. Yes, take a bite of that cat. What do you think? Hmm? So I'm gonna take a bite first without the sour cream. Let's go in. Mm, that's really good. Oh my God. What have I created? Get a bit of that sour cream on there. Oh yeah, the sour cream makes it. Mm, kind of cuts through that heat a bit because it's really, really spicy. I'm well proud of myself for that. Well, I would say, something I've never made before, that is a resounding success, guys. I do need to work on my burrito wrapping skills, though, but flavor-wise, absolutely delicious. I've not really got anything to kind of compare it to, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is visit a Mexican restaurant and have one of theirs. Just kind of see the difference, because I've got nothing to gauge it against. But the important thing is it tastes fantastic. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this flipping monstrosity, <laughs> but I'll probably take that to work tomorrow and have it for lunch. But there we have it, that is my hot and spicy beef burrito dedicated to Kat. I hope she likes it and I hope you like it as well. Now if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on my version of a burrito. And also if you've got any tips and pointers, then please let me know. But I'm gonna wrap this video up, so thanks again for watching and I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video and bye for now.